Hello class, this is Rotations Day 3 and we're almost finished. So looking at number 12, just want to make a slight, just not correction, but just a clarification. So uh, this little O here is, it means composite functions. So we are uh, composing two functions at the same time. The first one is uh, reflecting across line H and then the next one is reflecting across line G. So this reflection is composed of this reflection so you have to do the one on the right hand side first and then to get your final answer so that's all that is for that one and let's go to number 13 it says to construct triangle ABC um, the image of triangle ABC so we're talking about finding A prime B prime and C prime when rotated 70 degree about X so about X a 70 degree that's positive. So that will be counterclockwise plus. So that means we have to, um, that means we are rotating it this direction. So the answer should be at the bottom, not on top. Okay, so um, the first thing to do is just to line up all the lines and cross that with X and then creating the angles from there. So from A, to get A prime, it must be 70 degree. And uh, that means that A can be the base. That means you can start at A at 0 degree. So I'm going to turn this over because it's going to be hard to see. So turn it just upside down. So since we're going downward anyway, that would be helpful for us. So here, let's line this uh, A up at the base. So as you can see, that's kind of hard to do that. Uh, there is two ways of doing this. See, if you look at the outer angle, it's 180 degree. Uh, but if you look at the inner angle, uh, if 180 is the big angle, if we start at uh, something that's close to that, but we count on the inside, that means that this angle is starting at zero. And so from zero to here, that's 10 degree. And if you keep on moving up and up and up, you eventually hit 70 degree. So right here is 70 degree right here. Uh, but there's also another way of doing it. So um, another way, which I think maybe a little bit could be confusing, but I'm just going to introduce that anyway. I want to line, since I'm not using the inner angle, I am going to create a 70 degree such that this is my angle here. Remember 70 degree. Remember that 70 degree means that it's a, an acute angle. So we're looking at this arc right here. So it's very important that you know which arc you're talking about or which arc you're looking at. So if I'm looking at the inner arc, this one does give me an acute angle. But I wouldn't want to go from here to here. Because does that look like it's an acute angle? No, it's, it's like an obtuse angle. So that is the wrong way. So uh, two things you can do. If you choose from the inside, you can go from 0 right here to 70. But if you like the outside, then you can match 70, A to 70 on the outside. So I'm going to pivot from here. I'm going to change this around. Let's say if I use 70 as my outer range, it must, it must match with A right here. So 70 matches with A, and then I can see that, look, here's the zero, uh, zero degree. It matches on with what I had before. So let me pull this down so then you can see that away from the line. Here's the line that I have for 70 degree using the inner angle. Here's zero. So from zero to A, here is 70 degree. So you can use it both ways as well. Okay, so let me just go back. So I'm just going to uh, stick with this method. I am going to have zero lining right underneath the 180 on the outside, but if you count on the inside, that would be zero degree. And then I am extending it such that 70 right there. Let's line it up straight. Okay, so my place marker is a little bit off, so I'm going to erase this, and then put it back again. Here is 180, that means that it's 0, 
if you count from the inside, and here is 70. Okay, so I'm just going to now connect that and make a long line. Long line. This important. There's a reason why we write the long line because we want to find out what the image of A is, and we don't we don't want it to be short. Um, okay, so here now we have to use our compass. So put in the anchor point at the uh, at the center, and then A right here, and then I'm just gonna transfer this length over. It should be this much. So I'm making an arc. So from here, here's A, here is 70 degree, and A should be the same distance, so I make that arc. So you would call this, right here, A prime. Let's do the same for B. So here B is our base, lining that up at 180 on the outside. But if we count from the inside, it's 0 degree. And then we're going on the inside, and that is 70. We only want 70. Connect that. Make a long line. And then measure how far from the center is B. So it's about this much. It's bigger than A. Is this much? And then transfer that over. So it's about this much right here from the line. Right here is from B. Right here is that line. Make that little intersection. So call this B prime. Okay. Let's do the same for C prime. Okay. So C would be at my... C is my base at zero underneath the 180 mm, here we're looking at this one so let's not get, get confused so right there extending that out that should be underneath 180 and if we count from the inside that is zero degree and we're going toward this and here is our 70 degree right here line that up Remember to make a long line. Okay. And then measure how far C is, the distance of C from the vertex or the center of rotation. So here's C. So remember, I measure how far C is, and then I go over here, and then this is how far C is from X. So that would be C prime. I connect all of these to make my triangle. Uh, let's use red. Alright, flipping it back to normal position so look we have this uh, triangle right here after we rotate that counterclockwise 70 degree we end up with this triangle alright uh, next clip for the last problem